Hello and welcome to Solo Guitars. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to check the neck alignment on your guitar kit when you get it. This video is gonna be specifically for set neck guitars so that you know about the angle and the other elements of those guitars that aren't present in the bolt-on models. To begin with, you'll need to install your neck in the guitar. That is pretty straightforward, you just put it in. If it doesn't fit, you may need to remove some wood. This does happen on occasion, but not frequently. In any event, there's no reason to worry it's a simple matter of shaving off or sanding off a little bit of wood if there is a problem there. Next, we want to make sure that our neck angle is correct and that our neck is straight so that the strings follow the edges of the fretboard correctly. Now, in order to do this, I'm just going to rest the guitar because this has a very nice neck joint on this uh, kit. I'm going to rest the guitar in my Hosco neck rest, also available from Solo Guitars. And we're going to install the bridge and a tuner on either side. So we've got the bridge that came with the guitar here. These are quite easy to install and in fact not difficult to take out either. Uh, so let's, what you can do is you can either press this into place properly so that your entire tunematic system is set up or to make sure that everything is aligned. You don't actually have to do that. You can get away with just putting your post in like that. For the purpose of today's video though, we'll install the studs correctly so that you can see how to do that. Now this will take a little bit of work to pound these into place. In order to avoid undue strain, I'm actually going to take the neck back off and lay the guitar flat for that. And we wanna make sure that we don't damage the surface of the guitar when we're taking this step. So you can either use a soft piece of wood as a barrier between your hammer, if you're using that, and the guitar, or you can use a drill press and push them down that way or you can use what I'm going to do, which is the rubber side of a fretting hammer, also available from Solo Guitars. So I just gently tap those into place and make sure that that is ready to go. And then I can proceed with threading in my bridge posts. So we simply thread these in to the right. And generally speaking, you don't want them to be ridiculously high. So we'll put them down most of the way here. All right, then we can add our bridge and we'll go ahead and put our neck back in place. Now we need to add one tuner on either side of this. And what we're gonna do simply is run a string from the tuner down to the bridge. You do not need to install these fully you just need them in place enough that you can run a string through them. Okay, so once we get those in place, we'll just use the strings that came with the guitar. I do recommend uh, that you replace the strings that came with the kit when you go to finalize your build and actually play it. Uh, but they are perfect for this sort of thing, for testing your alignment and whatnot. Of course, there are replacement strings available from solo guitars, so if you want some Dario's or something like that, you can get those all there. For the purpose of our test, we're gonna install the high and low strings. We don't need to have the stop tail in place. And in fact, in order to make this easy, I'm going to do these backwards. So I'm gonna have the ball holding it in place in the tuner, just to make things a little bit simpler. Please forgive the kinks in this particular set of strings. They have been used before. We'll get them both in place at once here. And for ease, we'll make sure that our tuners are set up so that the holes in them are pointed down toward the fretboard. All right, so all we're gonna do now is run our strings down either side of the fretboard, through the nut, which they are, and into the bridge. And then we can check from above to make sure that they are both on the fretboard and correctly aligned so that they're not running off the edges. In this case, we have no problems there. They're slightly inside the edges, and that's what we want. And we also need to put a little bit of tension on them, which we can do just with our hands, and check to make sure that they aren't touching the fretboard. In this case, we have no problems with that either. We can lower the bridge a little bit and still have room, and we can increase the bow of the neck slightly if we need to. The key here is that we wanna make sure that we don't have too much neck angle, which would create a situation where the strings would contact the last few frets or the last fret before making it to the bridge. We can alleviate that to a degree by raising the bridge up, but we don't need to be in that situation. That's not the way it's supposed to be. If you do have that problem, you can create slightly less neck angle simply by sanding, 
and that will get rid of that issue. If the strings appear to be going off the edge of the fretboard in one direction or the other, that needs an alignment correction, and that can also be done with some simple woodwork or a shim, but that's a little bit more significant an issue, and I encourage you to contact customer service if you do have that problem.